This is the Cyclone Analogic TT78, which in my opinion is one of the best thought out and usable drum machines out there. That's why I made this list of 10 things I love about the TT78 and TT606 that every other manufacturer should put in their drum machines as well. Hello everyone, this is... First off, although I'm only showing the TT78 here, everything in this video is also true for the TT606, because, except for the instruments, they are practically the same. You can assign colors to your patterns, which is a really good substitute for not having a character display and not being able to actually name the patterns. You can immediately see which patterns are used or empty, and you can visually group patterns to indicate which of them belong together. If you have a pattern that's longer than 16 steps, you can see that the pages are also color-coded. While you hold the page button, you get an overview. Here you can immediately jump to any page. And this is a nice touch. Every time the sequencer reaches a new page, the page button flashes up in the respective color. If you have a few shorter patterns that you want to combine into a single larger pattern, you can use Merge Copy. Here I'm selecting a range of four patterns. Each of them is only 16 steps long. Then I press Function and Copy. Now I select a single target pattern and press Function and Paste. The four 16-step patterns from before are now combined into a single large 64-step pattern. That's a real time saver. When changing a pattern's length, instead of simply pressing the last step, you can hold it for two seconds. This extends the length of the pattern and clones its existing content into the newly added steps. What a fast and convenient way of doing this without using any additional buttons. When switching to a triplet timing modifier, the pages now only have 12 instead of 16 steps. This only changes the display, not the data. So no steps are lost when switching. That's much more comfortable to program because your second bar doesn't start at step 13 of the first page, but on step 1 of the second page. That makes so much sense, and yet, hardly any other drum machine does this. It comes with a deck saver and a bag. That's a nice touch. None of my other drum machines did. Because the analog components of the TT78 are controlled digitally, you can have kits. Every instrument's tone, timbre and nuance setting is saved in a kit and can be immediately recalled. Some people prefer the additional freedom of individual accents, while other people like the fast workflow of a global accent track. The TT78 gives you the best of both worlds. By default you place individual accents. But if you press function and accent, you can place global accents as well. The accents don't add up like in the 909 though, the accent is either on or off. The Cyclone Analogic Engineers made excellent use of the few controls this drum machine has. For instance, when adjusting the swing amount, or flam width, you can choose a value using these steps. But for an even finer resolution, you can press two adjacent steps, which gives you the value in between. Alternatively, you can also use the tone control to fine-tune the value. To place accents, rolls or flams on the TT78, you can enter the respective modes. What's already great is that you can see the underlying steps as you place your modifiers on this new layer. But what's even better is that you can quickly place those modifiers in the normal sequence of view as well. Just hold the respective modifier button and press a step. Here I'm placing a few rolls without even having to enter roll mode. And again, even from the normal view I can see which steps are accented and the rolls and flams light up in their respective colors as the running light of the sequencer passes them by. You know that situation when you're playing live and you're building a pattern and you're happy with it and now you want to make a backup copy before further changing or completely destroying it. 
If your drum machine only lets you paste copies after jumping to a new pattern slot, or even worse, only while the sequencer is stopped, you have an audio blackout. That's not good when performing. On the TT78 you can cue a pattern, it turns white, and hit paste before the sequencer switches to the new pattern. This allows you to seamlessly copy a pattern without playback interruption. I find the Cyclone Analogic machines are a joy to use, really well thought out. What surprised me is that there's so little mention of these awesome features anywhere. But you can of course find them and many more in our TT78 and TT606 cheat sheet on Patreon. That's it for this video. Hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. And if you're a drum machine manufacturer, please incorporate these features into your instruments.